Greetings, everybody. It's your old pal Frank here, and happy Monday. So, folks, today we're going to be opening some mail. In fact, we're going to be opening a lot of mail, six packages to be precise. But before we get to that, I want to do a, a quick little recap uh, on all the exciting hockey that went on uh, this past weekend, including my hometown Habs taking it to Connor McDavid and the boys and pulling out a huge 5-1 win Saturday. Now, tonight, we face the Oilers again. And I have a feeling tonight's game is going to be... Well, let, let's just say it's 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 going to be a lot more physical. Let's, let's say that. Also, there were uh, a couple, couple milestones over the weekend. Uh, this past Sunday... Uh, the Pens uh, uh, faced the Caps. Uh, the Pens won in over uh, not overtime. They won in in a shootout. But uh, the big the big thing from that game was uh, the great eight Alex Ovechkin potted career goal number seven oh seven, moving him how fittingly into spot number eight all-time on the uh, the all-time scoring list. So he's he's sitting there comfortably behind Mike Gartner, Phil Esposito, Marcel Dion, Brett Hall, Yarmer Yager, Mr. Hockey, Gordy Howe, and of course, the great one himself, Mr. Wayne Gretzky. And then also, uh, the Panthers took on the Blackhawks and beat them 5-2. And uh, a cool thing in that game, not cool being the Blackhawks being handed their third straight loss, but in that game, Keith Yandel ended up potting his uh, 100th career goal. So, couple couple cool things going on there. And then also, yesterday, January 17th, would have been uh, the 92nd birthday of a amazing Hall of Famer, uh, it would have been the 92nd birthday of the late, great Mr. Jacques Plante, Jake the Snake himself. Uh, I feel I really don't have to go into too much um, description on who this man was. Um, all huge fans of hockey probably know the name quite well, but... Um, it's it's this man uh, all modern day goalies have to give thanks to because uh, if it wasn't for him taking that Andy Bathgate uh, wicked backhand in November of 1959, who knows what would have happened? You know, it's it's thanks to Jacques Plante that goalies today have you know the modern day goalie mask. So. Uh, I wanted to give a little, little, little props to to Mr. Jacques Plante. So now, with all that being said, and trust me, with just the little things I mentioned about this past weekend, I I could have gone into like every game that happened because there was a lot. But I decided I wanted to try and keep this little thing under five minutes, just because we got a lot of stuff to open. So that's that. But you guys could go check. All, all the uh, recaps and whatnot on Google or other various channels here on YouTube. All right, so with all that being said, let's get to opening some mail, shall we? Alrighty, folks, so now that I got all the hockey news out of the way, it's now time to open some packages. Well, actually, no. Before we open packages, I have a couple cards here that I picked up over the weekend from my good buddy Sylvain that I really want you guys to check out. So the first one being uh, a card that you all just saw at the beginning of this video, and it is, of course, this awesome 2017 Leaf Gold Leaf Legends card of Jacques Plante. Uh, now, I do have a couple Jacques Plante cards in my collection already. Uh, all reprint stuff, of course, from the, um, I think it's the 5455 Parky set that Parkers put out in 1994. Uh, but mind you, I would love to own a legit 1955 Jacques Plante card one day. Uh, I don't see it <laughs> happening anytime soon because 
stuff from uh, Plants Playing Days is like mucho expensivo. <laughs> so that's why in the meantime, I will take any reprint Jacques Plant card available. And um, there is always, and I mean always, room in my collection for Jake the Snake. Next, I got myself another red Tim Horton die cut from this year's set. So this is, I believe, my third one now. Um, this one is to go with my uh, Tim Horton die cut from last year's set. And uh, I have one now in my binder with the rest of the set. And I'm thinking maybe the third one sending off the PSA to get graded. I don't know. But uh, now that almost everyone has pretty much put the set together, uh, these uh, die cut number ones are becoming more and more easier to find. So whenever they pop up, it's like I feel I want to buy all of them. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I got another Tim Horton red die cut. Uh, this, of course, came with a bunch of other stuff for my set. A couple other red die cuts, a couple other inserts. And, um, well, actually, after everything, I'm only missing a handful of reds. Maybe one one card from, I think, uh, can the canvas uh, subset. And I forget what else. And then... A handful of the trios, of course, because that's the, the big money in the set. But either than that, I'm almost finished my my uh, my set for this year. So um, when I do eventually finish it, we will be doing a set spotlight video. Uh, ever since I did the uh, set spotlight on my 92-93 Upper Deck set, I've been wanting to do more. And uh, there will be more coming because uh, one of them is going to be of this year's Tim Horton set. Uh, also, I have a couple completed uh, hockey sets uh, coming down the pipeline. Uh, I just got to get them into binders. And once I do, well, you betcha, we're going to be getting some set spotlights. So, But uh, in the meantime, I got another red die cut Tim Horton. <laughs> And then finally, the uh, piece de resistance of the three cards that I picked up over the weekend. I got my very first, um, I guess you could call it pseudo-graded, because it's technically a graded card without a number. It's one of those uh, in-the-game cards in the, the thick plastic protection. And um, this is a hell of a card to have, especially for any Habs fan out there. Uh, this is from 0607 in the game, Ultimate Memorabilia, 7th edition. It's uh, numbered 14 out of 25. It's uh, one of the ultimate sensational season cards. And it is none other than the Rocket. Oh yeah. I have here a piece of Morris Richard's uh, glove. Back from the 44-45 season. And uh, if anyone out there who is uh, familiar with hockey history, you all know that this was the season. I'm getting goosebumps talking about this. This was the season Morris Richard set the ever-so-famous record of scoring 50 goals in 50 games. Yep, he's he's the first one to do it, and um, man, when when I saw this, my eyes bulged as much as the Rockets doing a lot of his pictures, and I I, I mentioned to Sylvain, I was like, is that Rocket uh, card still available? He goes, yeah, you want it? I'm like, damn yeah, damn right, I want it. So um, yeah, very very happy to have this and. Now that I do have this, I might be looking for some more of these in the game, uh, again, pseudo graded cards, because these things are beautiful, man. I'd love to get a couple more. So, 
yeah, I just wanted to show show these. Actually, you know what? No. For for the rest of the video, the rocket is going to be staying in the background. I know usually I have my pucks and everything, but for this video, the rocket is staying in the background. All right. So, now that we got all that cleared up, now we can open some packages. So the first package I'm going to open here is from the Card Kids. And this isn't the first time they've been mentioned on my channel. Um, I have won stuff from them before. Actually, it was back when they were just breaking into YouTube. Um, they were getting ready to do a 50 subscriber contest. But uh, around the time they were getting ready to do it, uh, basically their sub count kind of exploded and they ended up doing their contest at 90 subscribers. And uh, lo and behold, there was four prizes, so four winners, and I was one of the lucky winners. Uh, basically, there was four different rookie cards to choose from. And all you had to do was leave a comment on their video and um, rank the four players, basically from most wanted to least wanted. Uh, of course, one of them was a Bo Bichette, but the name chosen right before me was the lucky one to win the bow. But uh, I'm not complaining because, because the, um, the the prize that I ended up getting was still pretty cool. It was a... Um, what is it here? Oh, it's a 35th anniversary insert card uh, from 2020 Tops of uh, AJ Puck. It's actually his rookie card. And um, every year, Tops puts out these tribute cards. I, I just love them more and more because I'm I'm a sucker for throwback stuff. And um, when I saw that I won this, I was I was happy. So, so now we're gonna see what uh, what I got this time around. Uh, I believe this was either. This was either for their 125th subscriber uh, contest, or this was just a, a random giveaway they did. No, the 125 subscriber contest, I I didn't ent I didn't get to enter it in time, and I believe Muskoka Card Collector won that. But uh, I believe this was a um, I think this was a random um, contest, and all you had to do was uh, instead of commenting on their video. You emailed them, and um, you waited to see if you were one of the lucky winners. So, I was, and let's see what I got. All right. Frank's Cards and Collectibles. Nice win. The Card Kids. All right. Oh, we got more than one card in here. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, well, we have a Christian Yelich. That's uh, from, is that 2019 Stadium Club? I think, hold on. Well, it just says 2020 Tops on the back, but it has the Stadium Club logo up in the corner. So but that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm always down for Christian Yelich. And then from uh, Tops of the Clap. Okay, it's a. Uh, I think this is a sticker. Yeah. But still, it's Mike Trout, so uh, I'm not complaining. So um, there we go. So we got a couple goodies from the Card Kids. And uh, a link to their channel is down below in the description along with every package that I open in this video if they have YouTube or if they have Instagram there will be a link to their socials in the description so go check them all out after watching this of course all right so let's clear this out of the way oh trusty little garbage pail down here AKA an empty box. All right, next, we don't have one, we don't have two, but we have three.
packages from Instagram from C3 Collectibles. So um, let's see what we got here. Uh, again, C3 Collectibles, that's uh, Caleb. And um, there's a link to his Instagram below. So I'm just going to open these at random. And uh, let's see what we got here. All right. First things first. I said first things first. Thank you. All right. So I have a feeling these might be Timmy's cards. Because I remember he had some extras. And I sent him my list. And, uh... Yeah, I think uh, I think they are. Hold on, I'm just gonna take all this painter's tape off first, so you guys don't have to see me fussing around with it. I'll do it off camera here. You do you do get the uh, the pleasure of hearing me fight with tape though, so there's that. And Caleb, if you are watching this, that's that's not a dig. Are you putting too much tape on the package or anything? No, no. On the contrary, uh, I I rather there be more tape than no tape at all. So, you know, the the old adage goes, you know, better be safe than sorry, and I I, I love to live by that uh, that saying. So, okay, so got all this off. There. All right. We got Timmy's cards. All right. Which ones do we have? Okay. So. We have a cup winners of Anzi Kopitar. We have some base, and these were the three base cards that I was missing for the complete base set. So we got Tyler Sagan, Adam Henrique, and Victor Hedman. Very cool. And then we have some red die cuts. We got Jordan Binnington. Roman Yossi and the King Henrik Lundqvist who I'm very happy to find out that uh, his uh, heart surgery and everything was a success so hoping to see him back on the ice soon to play at least a season or so before he hangs up the pads I got another cup winners here. This one is uh, cup winners number three of Patrice Bergeron, who actually got his uh, his 1,090th career goal over the weekend. So he's now 10 away from 1,100. That's awesome. <laughs> then we got a... Uh, gold etchings of Jack Eichel and we got a clear cut phenoms of Kyle Connor which is one I was missing that's another thing too uh, I was saying you know oh yeah I'm only missing a, a handful of this and a handful of that yeah I'm only missing like well now now having this I think like three clear cuts as well so yeah, we're 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 getting there. We're 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 really getting close to completing this year's Timmy set. All right, so let's move that. Let's put these in here. Now remember, that was one envelope. We still got two more. Ooh, 
<laughs> oh my god, folks. <laughs> There's more painter's tape. That's why you're not seeing anything yet. Oh my god, folks. There's Timmy's packs. Oh my god. We got six packs. Should I open them? Screw it. We're doing it. Kane, Pedersen, ooh, Carey Price. I'm going to put that in my PC because I have the Carey Price one now. Alrighty. I'll try and zoom these quick because we're all set like 17 minutes. I, I apologize that the last few videos have been rather lengthy. But uh, there's just been a lot of stuff to go through. So, all right. Yossi, Bo Horvat, and a Shea Weber All-Star Standouts. Imagine if out of these six packs we pull a trios. Oh, that would be beautiful. Or a red Tim Horton die cut. <laughs> all right. We got Debrinket, Jumbo Joe, who actually scored his first goal as a Toronto Maple Leaf last night in the Battle of Ontario against the Ottawa Senators. And we got a Sidney Crosby gold etchings. Very nice. Feels so nice to be opening Tim Horton's packs again. Oh. William Carlson, Kachuk, and Connor McJesus All Star standouts. Okay, two more packs here, and then we can get on with the third package from Caleb. Thankfully, these packs rip very, very easily. Oh, it's an all-star standout. Okay, we got Zach Wierenski, Leon Dreisaitl, and a Leon Dreisaitl all-star standouts. <laughs> All right, final pack. Let's see what it is. Oh my god, another all-star standouts. Okay, we got Jumbo Joe again. We got the newest member of the Washington Capitals, Zdeno Chara. And we got a Ryan O'Reilly all-star standouts. Alright, well, at least I got a Carey Price out of these packs. And uh, I got that uh, Sidney Crosby gold etchings. And if there's anything that I pulled out of these packs, if any of you out there who are still putting this set together uh, need, hit me up and, uh, you know, maybe we could do a trade or something. Hit, hit me up on Instagram, though, so we could DM and coordinate and all that good stuff. All right, so put those there. These in my little garbage can down here. And open our third envelope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Folks. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm fussing with more painter's tape. 
but uh, I just wanted to let you all know that the fun doesn't stop because we got more Debbie's packs! Six more! Let's get to it. <laughs> oh. Caught a hot. Matt Duchesne. Quinn Hughes, All Star Standouts. <laughs> I told you, the All Star Standout subset for this year's Timmy set was the easiest subset to put together. We got the flower, Mark Andre Fleury. Capocaco, and we got a gold etchings. Oh yeah, Johnny Hockey. Love those old school Calgary Flames uniforms. You know, harken back to the days of when Lanny McDonald was with Calgary. When he finally won well, yeah, when he finally won his cup. God. <laughs> we got Jonathan Huberdo, Patrick Line, and an Elias Pedersen All Star freaking standout. <laughs> uh, give me a freaking uh any anything but a standout. Oh my god, I'm murdering this pack. Well, and bumping into the camera, too. <laughs> Vladimir Tarasenko. Miko Heiskinen. And the gold etchings of Austin Matthews. Second to last pack. Come on. Give me... Give me one trio. That would be beautiful. Evgeny Kuznetsov. Leon Dreisaitl. And another Ryan O'Reilly. All-star standouts. Yippee. <laughs> Alright, last pack. All right, we got Roman Yossi, the King, Henrik Lundqvist, and we got a cup winners of Duncan Keith. All righty then. So again, if there was anything pulled in those 12 packs that any of you out there need for your set, hit me up on Instagram. And uh, we can work out a trade or something. I'll give you my list. You give me your list. And uh, we'll work something out. Because I got a ton of doubles. So, All right. So, we had the Card Kids. We had Caleb. C3 Collectibles. Now, we have an eBay purchase. And I'm very happy because in this eBay purchase... I'm able to cross off my first card from my top 10 list of 2021. Yes, sir, folks. So. I, I like how, uh, how he wrapped the uh, cards up in paper towel. <laughs> All right, so we have three cards here. The first one being this awesome Ron Greshner auto from 0607 Parkhurst, followed by a Barry Beck auto from the same set. Uh, if you haven't caught on to the theme, 
I am trying to get as many of these autos as possible while putting the regular non-auto set together. And actually, um, I should be getting in the mail within the next few days uh, a retail box of this stuff. So that is going to be a really, really fun rip. But the card that I'm able to knock off my uh, top 10 list for this year is none other than this 0506 Henrik Lundqvist Young Guns. Yes, sir, indeed. I finally have one. Mm, that feels good. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now, the final package to open. I've been waiting quite some time for. Because it's a return from PSA. Yes. Yes. It's in this non-discreet 400 count box. So let me just cut the tape on it here. All right. This is actually from, uh, well, used to be on YouTube. He's not anymore. But uh, this is from the former uh, Missouri Cards. So um, he, he was doing submissions for PSA. And uh, I got a certain card from Undisputed Frost. And as soon as I got it, I was like, I, I got to send that off to get protected. So, so I did. And it took a while to come back, but it finally did. And uh, let me just tell you, the wait was worth it. But before I show you that card, at the same time, I also got from him this beautiful Gem Mint 10 uh, Kale Flurry Young Guns. So hopefully... Hopefully he pans out with the Habs. I mean, he's he's in there with Suzuki and Paling, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But at the same time, hey, it's a Gem Mint 10. Show a 10! <laughs> oh, let's put him up here next. Ah, uh, wait. Uh, put, ah, screw it. We'll just put it off here to the side. <laughs> now, the card that you're all probably wondering about is none other... Then my tracks, Richard Petty. My Richard Petty Auto, it's finally back. And as you can see, the uh, the auto is authentic. So, um, yeah. When when Frost sent this to me, before before it even got here, there, there was no doubt in my mind that I, I needed to get this slabbed to protect it. So, um, yeah. That's pretty damn cool. And uh, that's... Come on. Come on, King. That's what I got for you today. So uh, here we are at half an hour. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this extremely long mail call. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumbs down. And most importantly, before leaving, like, comment, and subscribe. And as I say at the end of every video, folks, keep collecting what you enjoy collecting, and I'll see you all in the next one. P.S. Make sure to drop down into the uh, description below to go click on all the links to all the YouTube channels and Instagram pages of those who sent me all this awesome, awesome stuff. All right. I'll see you all in the next one.